We just caught our first flathead of the night. That one right there. But look, y'all, we got we got four right here. There's one. There's another one. And then we got another one over there. Hey, that's good. That's a good sign. And another one over there. That's a little bitty one. I'll get this one. You got that one. All those are good fish, bro. Yep. That we just caught. Look at that. Heck yeah. And we got one more, old son. This was a good catch right here. I know, look. There's another one down there. Yeah. See, look, we spoke too soon. That's right. Well, we ought to learn by now to do that. <laughs> hey. mm, that's crazy. Look at the top of that fish's head. Some tried to eat him. Yeah. Huh. Heck yeah, old son. Yeah. Hey, instead of it, instead of uh, what old Dale Brisby he says, rodeo time, fishing time. That's right. Rodeo time's tomorrow night. Yeah. that I'm not going to. Aren't going to. I know. Y'all are going to the PRCA rodeo and I'm going to watch Evangel Wolf Parkway. That's right. So that's probably going to happen. Dude, we got two. Look at that striper. Big I mean, it looks like it. That's a good catfish. Darn cool. That's a good catfish. When I over there in the Legion Fields, that where I grew up on my grandpa's place, he uh, had a catfish pond on there. And every time we'd go feed the catfish, uh -huh. all the little ones would feed first, and then the big ones would feed. Three. That pond that I was just telling you about with the catfish, right? It's got them goggle eyes in it. Oh man. Do them. Br Brim body with a bass mouth. Yeah. Those are fun to catch. All right, so we got two good fish. One right here that's hooked in the mouth. Oh, dude, he's barely on there, bro. I mean, barely. That's a good fish, too. And then we got another one right here that's hooked on the side. I mean, right in the butthole. That's hooked right in the butthole. That one looks like he's barely hooked. You got him? Thank you. Talk to me. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one. And that one, literally, I believe, look at that. Is he, is he hooked in the butthole? I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> you said I'm pretty sure he is. This is what we got so far. We're stacking the cheese. I know that dude's in a tight position. <laughs> yep, that's right in the butthole. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the butthole. I don't know how that happened. But it happened. That's unbelievable, dude. That really is. No exaggeration. In the butthole. Well, we caught one in the butthole. <laughs> oh, look at that. We sure do. I didn't even, I didn't even see those yo-yos. 
I didn't realize we go and bait that one and I'll take this one. Hey, that's a good mess load over here, man. Right, that's a good start. You ain't lying. Men of Courage, Louisiana, here we come. Right. Man, I got some fish for you to clean in the morning. I think that's all of them, bro. Yep. Yep, you're right. Good eye. So what you baiting them with, Garrett? Menace. Menace. How long have you fished this lake? Oh, it's out about three years old, I reckon. Three years old. He was out here by himself with a boat and a motor. I couldn't uh, touch any of my fishing poles, so I went and cut a piece of cane and tied a string and a hook on the end of it. I couldn't touch it either after she found out. <laughs> you said, I'll get you, Mama. I'll show you what's up. Hey, this old boy, his motor broke one time, and the only way it would work is if he went in reverse. So he drove in reverse for I don't know how many miles all the way from the middle of the lake back to the house. <laughs> Look, I just wanna, I wanna take a moment to say something. Now, the reason why we're catching all these catfish is we've got, we got an event coming up called Man Church. It's like a mini conference for men. We meet the first Tuesday of every month at the stable in North Bossier. And we told Rody, which he's the founder of Men of Curse Louisiana, that we, that we would catch the fish. And so we, me and Garrett and a bunch of other guys, Wesley and Jordan and I mean, the list goes on, have been trying to catch fish, and we've all been unsuccessful until tonight. As you see, we're starting to fill up, which we got a long ways to go. But there's a significance in why I first mentioned us doing this to Rody instead of buying the fish. Well, one, we could save money for the ministry, but two, we wanted to create an environment for fellowship. So guys, if, if I could tell you anything, get out of the house, get off the Nintendo games, get off your cell phones, Get with other men and go fishing, go hunting, go do whatever men do and enjoy yourself. If, if you don't do this, find somebody that does do it that can take you and teach you. Because, I mean, Garrett, what would you say this is like, getting an opportunity to do this? Oh, man, there's nothing better. Nothing better. I mean, you heard it. Nothing better. Fellowship, talk about the Lord, pray over the fish. Boat motor broke down on us earlier. We prayed over the boat motor. Garrett told me I was a common denominator since my boat broke down twice already since I've been trying to catch fish. But anyways, I just want to encourage you, man, get out of the house, get involved, do, do stuff like this with your daughters, with your wife, with your brothers, with your sisters, with, with anybody. Just fellowship. That's a good fish, man. We just caught another one back there on that other one. Heck yeah.